uh, means through the Spirit of God to raise up. Elijah said he already had 7,000. They had not bowed. That's comforting to know. That he had uh, a number that had not bowed nor stooped, nor worshiped the image. Elijah said, nobody Bible was living right. See, somebody living right. Amen. We just want to make sure with all this information that God has given to us that we are part of that somebody's. That's the key that is uh, that we need to make sure that we're that this information is being uh, transferred uh, off the pages into our life. Amen. That we're walking it out. And so there is somebody that's living for God. Amen. Somebody is doing what they supposed to do. And uh, I, I, I'm persuaded that is there going to be Muslims, if I can use those terms, Catholics, uh, everybody of every phases of all of these places that are serving God with the understanding that they understand God that's going to be in a resurrection. Amen. Because it's, it's all God. Amen. Allah, which means God with a arm and legs and, you know, so forth, and they got their own ideas of what it is and their depth, and sometimes you have to hear them to see what it is, but I believe that, uh, then I believe there's going to be people that are saying Jesus and Jesus is, won't show up in the resurrection. Why? I got a Bible for that. Many will shall come to me and say, Lord, Lord, haven't we done that? He's going to say, I don't know you. So we want to make sure that we find ourselves positioned for uh, this ball of fire that's coming, judgment of God, the ministry of God, because God's ministry is going to bring the judgment when they are connected. The message that they preached there brought judgment upon that world. Amen. They hated them. They lashed out at them because they had a message. Amen. So we want to uh, uh, keep taking in this wonderful uh, air of God, Spirit of God, exhaling all the bad stuff, get the bad stuff out, keep our minds clean, watch our minds being filtrated with a lot, being, being filled up with a lot of stuff. It's easy to get full of stuff. It's easy. It's easy. We just, we, earth, earth just attract earth. Earth just attracts earth, and it takes extra effort to go further. It takes effort extra effort uh, to, to do that. It takes just yielding your mind over, breathing in the things of God, Amen. taking in, meditating. It's so sweet to meditate on the sweet things of God. Amen. And uh, uh, an expectance of God, and not this other stuff, because uh, Brother Gary was talking about the root. I, I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen it. I see that we are way we are because of our root system, the way we was raised, the way we did something. Let me tell you something. My mom and them told me to do things right, but I tipped off in the corner and did things wrong. See? So I ain't going to blame it all on mom and daddy. Amen. But there are some parents that doesn't take care of their children. They let them run uh, loose and don't have no care for them. But, uh, but, uh, and, and don't let them help them with the right decisions. But some of it is because when they told me, Daddy kept telling me, stay out of that pool hall. You know why they whooped me out of the most of the time? Out the pool hall. Because I kept seeing them other guys, man. I want to be like, uh, you know, and daddy was telling me, come on, let's go on a job. I'm glad I finally picked back up some of the trades and stuff, but I seen something else. And so finally that got in my life, and I, I kept breathing in that until it became a part of me and contaminated me. And all the hell that I went through, all the hell I went through. And then uh, certainly... I know how, by the grace of God now, to govern my thinking. 
But I'm telling you, stuff just pop up. It just pop up. I don't be asking for it to show up, you know. And uh, it's just amazing because of, that's that root from what was sown there. And that's why you want to sow properly. You want to sow properly because it's going to be enough stuff going to come up without you trying to do it. Then you doing it intentionally. Amen. Going to be enough stuff. And so we want to make sure we're taking in the right thing. We want to ask God to keep asking God, deliver me from evil. Deliver me from this here. And then help God deliver me by uh, taking in, breathing in the right, right things. And Sister Tasha made you mention that last night. About you. That's exactly the same point, you know. But it's going to be such a devastation at the close of this age. It was in every other age. It's going to be one in this age. We can escape. That's all I can say. We can escape. I'm just going to keep doing my part. And then keep working on my part. Amen. Because I'm, while I'm preaching to you, I've got to keep this stuff applied to me. Uh, Hebrews 5. See, every high priest, verse 1, every high priest that is taken from among men is ordained of God. Men and pertain to God that he may offer both gifts and sacrifice for sin. That priesthood had to offer up the things for the people. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and them that are out of the way? That that priesthood could have uh, compassion. I was telling Brother Gary, I said, you know, because that's why I could look at people, I don't let people, uh, even though they may do stupid things, ignorant things, whatever terminology you want to use, I can have compassion on that. Because I was out of the way too. Amen. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't uh, con, uh, condoning it, but I can have compassion on it. And on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed about, compassed with the same weaknesses. The same disease, get that word infirmity, the same problem. We're compassed about with the same thing. God just took us out from among them and, and, and have us to have cash. We got the same frailties. Praise God. So when you're looking at the preacher, just remember he got the same problems you got. Amen. Fighting the same fight you fight. Amen. And God just calling us to, be, to come up and elevate ourselves above these things so we can be lights and examples to to the people, let them know that you can do it. Amen. So uh, it's been a good day today. Amen. We got enough to chew on till tomorrow. Amen. We got enough to meditate on, inhale, and exhale until tomorrow. And uh, expect the Lord to uh, have a word, have something else, some, some more. If it's the same thing, if it's, if it's the same thing, amen, we'll take that. Hey, Becky, somebody didn't hear it. Isn't that amazing? Somebody didn't hear it. But we want to make sure that we're listening and hearing uh, from the Lord. May the Lord bless you.